Play to the fifth. After a slow march up the coast, a storm system will likely be bringing rain across much of the northeast today. Good morning and welcome to this edition of Weather Center. I'm Cheryl Lemke. And I'm Mark Mancuso, and that system is largely hugging the nation's eastern coastline. And that system is now bringing rain into the New York metropolitan area in Boston. Cloudy skies this morning, and it should start raining any time this afternoon. But don't worry, in Indianapolis, those clouds uh, will be clearing out. Hooray. However, Atlanta could still see some showers around later on today, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Cheryl has the rainy outlook for the East Coast. Well, anything but ideal weather conditions this morning throughout the Northeast, as many of you will be encountering some wet pavement. So definitely give yourself some extra driving time as you're heading to work or school this morning. We're watching a fairly tightly wound up low pressure system that continues to churn northeastward, hugging the northeastern shoreline today. And as it does, it's causing some rather stiff winds and some rain. And actually this morning, that's just a sample of things to come. The rain could start to pick up in intensity later this afternoon. And unfortunately, there is that possibility for maybe some localized flooding, especially right along the immediate coastline. Chance for maybe some minor beach erosion too, as the winds will stay rather feisty for a good part of the afternoon. And speaking of winds, gale warnings have been posted today from Chatham, Massachusetts, all the way over towards Watch Hill, Rhode Island. You'll be seeing wind gusts occasionally approaching 50 miles per hour. So some strong east and northeasterly winds. And some of the waves today could be around 10 feet high. So mariners definitely watch out for some choppy waters and rough conditions across the northeastern shoreline. You can clearly pick out from our satellite vantage point the low pressure system that's twirling and churning and working its way up along the coastline. It's pulling in moisture from off the Atlantic. And currently we have widespread cloud coverage from southern sections of New England, across the Hudson Valley, over through the Finger Lakes, more cloudy skies too, on into Maryland. So a gray, murky, dismal start to the day. And with the clouds, we are seeing the rain. So definitely a day for the umbrellas and the rain slickers. A lot of rain right along the coastline at this time from near the Boston area. Some rain, too, developing around Groton and around New Haven, Connecticut. So maybe some problems this morning for the Merritt Parkway. We pick up more rain action across Long Island from the Brookhaven National Labs over through Montauk Point, Orient Point. More rain, too, for JFK. The rain on into Philly coming in this morning from Upper Darby or Norristown. You'll be dodging some rain as well and some scattered rains over towards Dover, Delaware and Salisbury, Maryland. And besides needing the umbrellas, you'll need a heavier jacket or a sweater because we have some rather cool temperatures. 40s and lower 50s across the Northeast. And when you factor in the winds, it makes it feel even colder than that.
What about the weather, weather across the rest of the country? Let's check it out with Mark. And while parts of the southeast could still see some showers, most of the region, along with the Midwest and Plains, will have clear and comfortable conditions. Got to like that. Let's take a look at our water vapor loop for you. Why still the showers in the southeast? Well, we have that upper low. It's been a slow mover. We've been telling you about it's a sluggish movement and how it would move to the southeast and then up to the northeast with time. Well, it's down here in the southeast right now. Energy continues to spin around it. And the air aloft is still cold at about 15,000, 20,000 feet. That air is still running at about 15 below zero. So you know what happens with that strong April sun. Boom, thunderstorms and rain showers and clouds pop up in the afternoon and evening hours. So don't be fooled by a bright morning in parts of the south because clouds will try to fill in again. But we do see a good coverage of rain showers and thunder showers already this morning uh, from East Tennessee, Northeast Georgia, and on over to the old North State. And then we close right into Charlotte here. Ah, wet on the old Billy Graham Parkway this morning. Headed on down I-40 here, you'll hit some rains. And look at all that heavy rain here on I-95 as you move your way right up through Fayetteville. So a good soaker here uh, coming out of the Sand Hills into the southern Piedmont of North Carolina. And with this type of rain here, notice it's not moving very much. Hmm, that could be a problem with some localized flooding. We'll keep a, an eye on that. Upper East Tennessee uh, coming on down uh, through uh, Norris Lake, La Follette here, bearing down on K-Town and Alcoa. Rain showers and also a few light showers into northeast Georgia. Head west, head south. Oh, it's beautiful. Westerly breeze coming across Florida. And we are looking at a very pleasant morning. Oh, wouldn't you love to be at the colony right now, uh, smacking those tennis balls right there at Longboat Key? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Yeah, look at this, Corpus Christi, 48 degrees. Two mornings in a row, we've been in the 40s with records. Now as we get you into the Midwest, oh, isn't it beautiful? Des Moines and Chicago, oh, how sweet it is. Pinch yourself as we get our way farther east, though. Uh, a little bit of a uh, lingering problem here. A few rain showers and sprinkles and hanging tough over the heart of it all. Ohio, satellite radar composite shows us a little bit of activity still moving on down through Indiana and Ohio. And as we get you in even closer, you can see those light showers right around the home of the Buckeyes, Ohio State University, and right around Les Wexner's property in Gahanna, you know, with all those white fences there. We're looking at rain showers near the old Port Columbus Airport, right down the park view. Now let's take a look at your forecast, and here's Cheryl. Well, as Mark was just showing us some of the scattered rains that we're seeing this morning right around Indianapolis and parts of the Ohio Valley, but things will really be improving quite a bit come this afternoon as that upper level low will rotate on through and we'll start to get some drier air coming in from the west. So by this afternoon, mostly sunny skies return to